Hello folks, my name is Sean Jackson and today what we're going to talk about is uh, Active Directory Administration and Identity World. Specifically the product or solution we're talking about today is a product called Directory Resource Administrator. Um, to kind of give you a little history of the product, it's actually been around since 1995, believe it or not. Uh, it start, had its start in the NT4 do domains and uh, now it's more relevant in the Active Directory domain. So, what we're going to kind of talk about, we're going to keep the focus to the Active Directory area. So, in typically an Active Directory solution or an area, most of our customers have some kind of identity management solution uh, that they're utilizing. So when I think of identity management, most people purchase identity management for one kind of purpose or one overall arching purpose in mind, which is called automation, right? We're trying to automate everything we possibly can about the account, the provision, the deprovisioning, and so forth. Now, most people will say, well, that's, that's great. We're going to automate everything. But when you look at the automation, and typically when you're looking at Active Directory, um, typically, access to applications is, is kind of given, oops, my nice arrows, by some kind of group membership. Active Directory is pretty much everything group related. So let's just say hypothetically, um, this is group number one. We'll call this group two and group three. All right. And IDM is doing a great job. It's, it's set up to automatically add you to groups based upon a role. So there's typically some kind of role engine here or some kind of policy engine we'll call it as well. Does that guarantee that we're managing those correctly? So what happens when we have to do manual interaction to manually add people to groups? Well, that's where this product called DRE comes into play. And really the problem here is you have people still in Active Directory, either they be domain admins or account operators or delegated administrators, that might have the ability or do have the ability to add new people from this group. Now, most people will say to me, well, Sean, we have our identity management solution set up that if somebody is added to group one manually, identity management will pick it up and remove it later on down the road. And you may have that, you may not. Now, if you have some kind of identity management solution out there that is not ours, where it's event driven, this may be a five minute window. We call it, a, there may be a bot, batch job running every five minutes to go ahead and clean up that information if it's done manually, right? That's a five minute window. So let's say hypothetically, this group right here, Group three gives me access to some kind of payroll system. And I want to start looking at payroll information. And I'm a user out here and I say, hey, look, I know one of my buddies that's on help desk. And I go ahead and give him a call and says, look, can you go ahead and add me to that group number three? Me as a help desk, I honestly could care less. I don't understand what access that group gives. So I said, yeah, sure. So I throw you in the group. So I throw you in the group. That um, user then logs in as that account. Five minutes later, it then goes to IDM codes and cleans it up. Does that mean that that user can't access that application? No, they've already actually picked up what's called the security token, so they can actually go ahead and access that payroll all day long. So what DRA is all about is removing people from these high-privileged accounts or high-privileged group memberships and delegating exactly the view and tasks that you want them to be able to perform. So with DRA, you can actually say, look, I want to delegate to business owner that you can manage this particular group and that's all you can do. So I can actually delegate down to the business owner level, the person that really has to, is the correct person to make a decision over this application, I can delegate that they can actually manage it. And that's what DRA is all about. It's a very granular delegation engine to delegate exactly what you want someone to see and do. When you buy an IDM solution, you're typically the, your thought process is to manage these policies and force standardization down to um, down, downstream, well, if you don't have something to control the manual interactions, you're kind of undermining what you purchased this for in the first place. So what DRE does, it works in complement with IDM to make sure no matter if you're going through manual or going through an automated fashion, you're enforcing the policies and standards that you want to your applications. Hope that makes sense. Uh, appreciate your time.